straight. Mm -hmm. Cool. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a push day. Start of the week is Monday. Been uh, honestly a pretty solid week of training since I last checked in with you guys in the last video. I'm at the point right now where I'm getting just a couple things together and getting ready to really start up in the not necessarily the intensity but I guess more so changing the direction of my training a little bit and uh, at least getting ready for prep more mentally than anything you know it means a lot less a lot less of the little snacks um, not that I mean Mike and I we've been eating pretty good too mm -hmm. but just kind of tighten things up a little bit more get the routine a little better you know not not hit and skip on the alarm when I don't have to be up stuff like that so all those little things add up. I just want to make sure when I do fully go into prep, you know, it's I'm at a I'm kind of already at 100%, not having to get myself up there. But today, I don't know if we'll have the gym to ourselves or not, so I don't know how much talking I'll be able to do and explain in workouts. But as usual, I'll try to throw in the little little tips I like to do to feel the exercises more. But mainly, I've got chest a little bit of front delt maybe hit a couple lateral raises and uh finish with some triceps so big push session still going pretty heavy and it's omar you know i'm working with omar so still a lot of volume pressing today since it is a big push day and uh, on this probably uh, just two two warm-ups that should be good before I get to the working weight and then shooting for about four sets of ten on here nothing crazy no crazy drop sets not super setting just focusing on keeping the tension in my upper chest as much as possible so when I'm on that bench I'm really getting my shoulder blades retracted first so I can lift my chest and then get a nice stretch across the upper chest get squeezed at the top Good control. That's it. gonna be battle four on there but 245 is heavy but I'm feeling it the way I want to feel it so there's no breaking down well except for Mike set <laughs> come on
knees just to feel a little bit more. At the bottom, I'm almost letting my chest come forward. Now the whole time I still want to keep my chest up so I can get a good stretch across my chest, but to get just a little bit more when I get to the, the bottom of the rep, I almost lean my torso just slightly forward, right? So essentially putting my arms back behind my the, the center line of my torso a little bit further. Get a little bit better stretch on the chest, it's still controlled. And then as I squeeze at the very top, I use that little bit of space I created at the bottom. I'm almost able to, to sit back into the rep as I squeeze and then just get a little bit more chest activation, especially at the top of the rep. Pause for a half second. The last couple reps are usually almost down to partials. Not really pausing, just trying to get a squeeze out a few more reps before we go into some dips and then finish off this workout. tricep press down and I'm not going too deep here just a little bit past 90 with my elbows just enough to feel a little stretch in the chest and then squeeze up it's been a workout 